Good morning. This is day three of being stuck at Disney, essentially. We just got up. We're going to have breakfast. Um, so if <laughs> Ashley's see her, if you're new here, um, our land and sea vacation, well, the sea part got canceled. So we had to find alternative flights, alternative arrangements, alternative accommodations. It's been really stressful. But last night we found a flight to go uh, back home. We had to purchase flights. We couldn't just switch them. We cannot get a hold of our airline, um, which has been super stressful. We've been on the phone in lines at the park. Um, so we just decided to buy more tickets. So we're gonna enjoy our last day here at All Star Sports Resort. Our room is actually right there. We got some Mickey waffles and eggs and bacon and sausage and coffee. Mm. We've checked out. Now we're just gonna enjoy the rest of our day at the pool. And we're just gonna kind of relax and kind of put all this stress behind us. We bought tickets um, for another flight tonight. So now it's just to enjoy our last little bit of time here at Disney. I don't wanna stay here, no. Ain't gonna keep it low now. If you wanna go, let's go. Let's wrap it up and hit the road. I just got an awesome vibe. Striking the wind of hopes now. Liberty's on my mind. We've taken off with like the ground. You, you gotta understand. Chance, one chance, you, you will never regret the things that we'll do. Cause I, I, I wanna drive through the summer night. And when we, we, we are old and gray, we'll look back at this, the summer night. I'm sunburned, <laughs> so is Ashley. <laughs> but we're getting ready to take our flight back home. Getting ready. My Look how eyes red are you are. swollen. Your eyes are swollen? I told you I got sunburned because when the chlorine got in them, I started crying. <laughs> we're sunburned and we're ready to go home. So we're taking our flight. In about three hours, we're taking the Magical Express. We're gonna be home by midnight tonight. And then we'll deal with Sunwing and trying to get our money back at some point this week. So we just made it to the Orlando airport and it's literally a ghost town in here. There's nobody here. Like, a few people down there. Nobody, like a few people down there. Nobody here. The few times I've been here, it's been pretty busy. I've never seen it this deserted. 
There must be a virus going around. <laughs> Elevator party! Elevator party! <laughs> Where's Ryan? It's a fancy Ryan. Come on! Oh! 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 apparently lied. It's actually pretty busy on the third floor. Oh, babe. There's just so many people. Tomorrow, at the airport, waiting for a flight. A lot of people. A lot of people. We've been waiting in line for a very long time. So we were supposed to get on an airplane, but now we're delayed due to maintenance. So see how long this takes. I got two tired kids, and Mike's pretty tired too. We're all burnt, sun exhausted. <laughs> Actually, super sunburnt. We're just exhausted, and we can't wait to get home. But I don't know. We'll see how long we're delayed for. We were supposed to leave at 9.45. It's now 9.32 and they just announced that they're not boarding anybody until the maintenance is done. Be on a plane. Ashley's exhausted. Where are the boys? Brian. Say hi. We're on a plane. We made it. We're on a huge plane. This is a ginormous plane. Three rows. Mm -hmm. So I forgot to really end the vlog and our trip got even more eventful. Um, when we were on the plane waiting, it took about an hour. Um, for them to actually take off because there was a seal that wasn't sealing properly in the luggage compartment. Um, so we had to wait for that. Then we finally took off. Um, we were supposed to originally land at 12.30 in the morning and we ended up landing at 1.30. So we were about an hour behind schedule. Um, when we get off the plane, our luggage <laughs> was delayed um, for a while, like it took them at least an hour for them to get our luggage to us. Um, that was a little annoying, um, which made us at the airport until 2.30. Um, we then had to wait for the park and fly um, bus to bring us to our car. There were so many people at the airport um, that they just jam-packed it. We had to wait for the second one. It took forever. The driver said it would take 10 minutes. It took probably 20. We were waiting in the freezing cold, no jackets. Um, finally, that came. Um, I got to our car as we were driving away. Okay. Let's just put in context that we were supposed to be gone for 11 days. So we each had um, a giant suitcase. Ryan had a small one, um, but then we also needed a big suitcase for our fish extender gifts. Um, so we had four big suitcases, one little suitcase, and a couple little carry-on, like little purses and bags um, for our air, our flight stuff. Um, as we're driving away, I'm realizing I didn't grab Ryan's suitcase, and I don't remember seeing Mike grab Ryan's suitcase. And then I look at the little luggage compartment. I don't see... Ryan's suitcase. Um, we had left Ryan's suitcase on the side, on the sidewalk at the Toronto Pearson Airport. So we got in our car, rushed over there, tried to find the directions how to drive over there, got there, no luggage in sight. We asked information, we asked the workers that were working on site, didn't see it. And then we said, oh, what if some nice person just put it back on the next shuttle? So we rushed back, could not find the location on where they were picked up. So Park and Fly has quite a bit of locations. Went to two of them, 
not the locations we were picked up at or dropped off at. Um, finally, the, the man called and gave Mike the right directions and somebody did bring Ryan's suitcase there. So we have Ryan's suitcase, drove all the way home. So what was supposed to be a 1 a.m., 2 a.m. arrival home was a 5.30 a.m. Um, arrival home. So we made it home at 5.30, um, greeted our dog and went to bed. So that is how we ended our very unplanned <laughs> vacation. It was very eventful. So now stay tuned for the quarantine vlogs. Now we have to stay home away from other people. We have to limit human contact um, and isolate ourselves for 14 days. So today begins quarantine day one. Stay tuned for those vlogs. Thank you so much for those who watched our vacation vlog, even though I didn't go quite as expected. And oh, you're definitely gonna wanna stay around and join the crew because there'll be more Disney in our future, I believe, um, because they gave us a credit and I will go into detail about that on the next video. So thank you so much for joining this wild ride. Have a great day. I'm gonna go probably have a nap. <laughs>